All month long, the Minot Air Force Base has been honoring and showing special appreciation for the women who served there. And we are end ending Women's History Month with some local heroes in North Dakota. Lauren Davis tells us more. On Thursday, a 91st Missile Wing flight took off with an all-female 54th helicopter squadron crew that dropped off an all-women missile air crew at a missile alert facility. It was pretty awesome. I mean, cause we don't really have that many females in our crew field and even here, like we have one aircraft commander that's a female and I'm the only female flight engineer. So it was pretty awesome getting to just have like an all-female crew and get to experience that. The 5th Bomb Wing also had a flight on Thursday that held an all-female crew, including maintainers and air crew. The B-52 pilot says highlighting women in the Air Force is amazing and beneficial because it can help make necessary changes. One of the big things right now that uh, Global Strike is looking at is female fitment. Um, so that's getting us things that fit correctly, equipment such as helmets, flight suits, all that kind of stuff. And we're, we're making big strides in that, uh, getting helmets that fit a little bit smaller heads, flight suits that fit the frame uh, of women better. And a B-52 maintainer says it's nice that the Minot Air Force Base made the all-women crew happen throughout the month. It's a little nerve-wracking sometimes because you are like, am I saying you're doing the right thing? But just to know that there are girls out there just like me from small towns that can make such a big difference. Just doing the smallest thing like screwing in a screw and that jet going off to do things that help protect our country and our freedoms. It's amazing. For KX News on the Minot Air Force Base, I'm Lauren Davis. Some pretty cool video there. In March of 2016, the Air Force made history when 90 female missileers served on simultaneous alert at the three missile wings and an all-female B-52 crews flew from Minot and Barksdale.